hey guys welcome back to another video my name is ashley if you are new here please like comment share and subscribe and if you can't tell by the title down below today we're going to be doing a 2022 eyebrow tutorial i've been getting like a lot of comments and compliments on my eyebrows and what i use um how i do it and things of that nature so i just wanted to make a dedicated video of how i do my eyebrows um, my eyebrows have changed over the years and i feel like now in 2022 i finally got it down packed i got my products down packed these products that i that i'm going to show you guys are the products that i use literally every day so without further ado if you're interested in seeing this eyebrow tutorial stay tuned and let's get right into the video okay so i'm super zoomed in because i want you guys to really see like what i'm doing um let me just move my chair a little bit okay i think we're good okay so the first product that i'm going to show you guys that i'm going to be using is just like your regular um spoolie so i just used the one with the comb on the side and the brush you can use the one um just with the brush whatever you have or feel comfortable with you can use um so we're just going to use this to brush our eyebrows in place so let's just do that first um yeah and just brush your hairs in the direction that you want them to go okay next what we're going to use is our eyebrow pencil this is the eyebrow pencil that i use this is the ruby kiss eyebrow pencil in the color dark brown and i got this from my local beauty supply store and this is a dollar it has this um, brown tip on the end, so you know that this is the dark brown one. This is the only eyebrow pencil that I use. I live by this eyebrow pencil. I swear by this eyebrow pencil. This is a really good eyebrow pencil. Um, so let me just zoom in for you guys so you can see. It says Ruby Kiss. It's a gray with a black top, and it has a sharpener on it. So what I went ahead and did was I just sharpened the tip because um, I like to have the pencil to be super sharp um so i can get that nice you know like slick look i feel like if it's really dull you don't get that look so make sure you sharpen your pencil when you're doing your eyebrows all right so let's get started so the first thing that i like to do is just basically outline the eyebrows so i'm going to outline the bottom and then i'm going to outline the top and when i'm outlining i like to start like here and then back in here then back so let's get started so I'm just gonna outline it and I'm just outlining the eyebrows and I stop at like you know where my tail stops if you want a little bit longer tail I know people like to go down a little bit further you could just draw it on however you want to draw your eyebrows you know do that I'm going to do the top. Like I said, I like to start here, then back. Because the beginning of my eyebrows, I like to have it to look a little bit natural. So that's why I start farther back. Alright, and then you just want to connect the tail um the top and the bottom at the end and it's okay it, your eyebrows are literally going to look crazy until you put the concealer because when i do other people's eyebrows they're like ashley i don't know about this but i'm like once you put the concealer you're going to get the full look so don't judge it until the concealer is on all right next what we're going to do is i'm going to start shading the end and i just started shading the end um right from where we outlined it at so from here back i'm going to start shading it in i do not touch my front of my eyebrow at all until later on so I'm going to start shading it in And you just want to do that like lightly you don't want to but if you want to be harsh if you like harsh eyebrows and do so but for me i don't like it to look harsh i like it to look more on the natural side so i just use light like do it lightly i don't like you know stab it in there 
just lightly. It literally takes me like probably 10 minutes, like eight minutes to do my eyebrows on a good day. And then next I'm gonna take that brush, really focus, and just brush it all in. So I don't fill in the top of the eyebrows because I always used to use, slow down. I always just use the excess product that's already on my brush um, to kind of like fill that in. So I'm just gonna brush it and just blend everything in that we just did. And then I like to like brush the tail of it just to extend it. Cause like I said, there's excess product on here. So I just like to brush, just drag it down. So my tail's a little bit longer. And then I go back in and just shade in any spots that I feel like I missed. Go back in again and brush it. You see how we didn't, let me fix it right here. See how we didn't touch the beginning of our eyebrow, but now it's like blended all together. That's a that's a that's a little trick that I'm teaching y'all. If y'all if you didn't know, <laughs> for my girls who didn't know, you do not have to like do anything to the beginning of your eyebrow, like at all. Okay. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to put our concealer um, and blend it. So the concealer that I use, and you guys, I don't know if you use this, but this concealer, oh my God. I, I, I'm mad I didn't know about this concealer sooner. I just found out about it maybe like a year ago, but this con I live by this concealer. This concealer is the shit. So this concealer, this is the Too Faced concealer in the color mocha if you guys can see that if it focus mocha and this is a i think yeah this is a full coverage concealer like full coverage if you're looking for a full coverage concealer seamless give you that real beat give this a try yeah i won't steer you wrong next product we're going to use is our angle brush um to sculpt our eyebrows this angle brush is from mac i had this for like years like since high school um they probably still have it you can use any angle brush that you have at home um anything will work um but if you want if you're interested in getting this angle brush i'll um link it in the description down below but this is from mac and the number on it is 266 so if you're interested in buying this one i'll link it down below as well all right, so I'm gonna take that concealer. Can you see my hand? <laughs> I'm like, it's hard for me. I'm trying to look at my viewfinder, but I'm trying to also see like if you guys can see me. So if I'm like looking all over the place, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I just like to put it on the top of my hand right here. Just a little bit, like that much. And then I dip my angle brush in it and now we're about to sculpt our eyebrows so i'm going to take that brush um and for this i'm going to start in the beginning and take it all the way down And my personal preference is to drag the concealer down into my eyelid because I just like to have a more, um, I guess I, I like to have product on my eyelid before I do my makeup. So I'm just, I just literally just drag it down like this. And 
and then you could just dab back in to that concealer if you feel as though you need more so that's how it should look so far sometimes i go in with concealer for the top sometimes i don't um depending on you know how the eyebrow is looking for the sake of the video i'm going to um line the top as well so you guys can see what that looks like and we're going to do the same thing for the top as well you guys see me <laughs> You just want to make sure that concealer meets the top concealer as well. Just so everything looks together. All right, so that's how it should look so far with the concealer give you guys a close-up okay next i'm going to take a damp beauty blender and i'm going to blend it all in this beauty blender is from real techniques you can get it from your local drugstore or your um, local hair store it's any beauty blender to be honest but make sure it's damp i can't stress this enough make sure your beauty blender is damp when you do your makeup because i know some people who do, do <laughs> i know some people who does their makeup do their makeup and they use a dry beauty blender and girl when i tell you that's a no-go that's a no-go <laughs> all right so we're going to start to blend this in i'm going to blend it into my eyelid because i just again i just like to have product down there and then the top make sure that's blended good Okay, and then I just like to go after I'm blend, done blending. I just like to go back in with my brush again and just brush it. Just make sure no hair is got out of place or anything like that as we were concealing and blending. Just make sure everything is seamless and nice. Okay, and that's it. Like literally, we we only use what four things for eyebrows it's literally with with time it'll come um because for me like i said it took me years to finally get it down packed um but yeah one eyebrow down what do you guys think comment down below i'm gonna do the other eyebrow off camera and then i'm gonna okay guys i'm back now both eyebrows are complete just wanted to come back and show you guys what both eyebrows look like So I feel like, to me, I feel like it's fairly simple um, to do your eyebrows if you just practice. You know, if you're spending some time in the house, you're not really doing nothing. You want to play around um, and, you know, see what you can do. Definitely practice because practice makes perfect. Because I wish I could have find, if I find pictures of how my eyebrows used to look till now, disgusting. <laughs> Because now I really just love the way my eyebrows look and how, like, you know, natural they look. They don't look, well, at least to me, um, too harsh or anything like that. Because I really like the natural look. Um, so, yeah, comment down below. Let me let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Also, let me know if you guys will be interested in seeing, like, a full makeup tutorial. Because I'm also into makeup a lot. And that's something else I really get a lot of compliments 
compliments on as well as my makeup um, as well as my eyebrows so if you're interested in seeing a makeup tutorial as well comment down below um as far as the products i will link everything down below if they have a link um like the eyebrow pencil i know you can get that from your local beauty supply store but for everything else i'll link it down below um and yeah just comment down below tell me what you guys think let me know what products you use or if you if you have any questions for me on your struggles um on how you do your eyebrows and things like that let me know let's let's open up the uh comments let's have a conversation about it so without further ado thank you so much for watching my eyebrow tutorial if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next one bye